Good evening and welcome to your one hour power yoga practice. Today we'll begin in child's pose. And make your way to your mats. Bring your big toes to touch. As you lower your hips down onto your heels, lifting your forehead onto your wall. Just take a few moments here to tune into your breath. As you are taking a deep inhale into your mouth, and notice how your belly lifts. And as you exhale out to your mouth, notice how you jump. Inhale in. And exhale out. As you take a moment here in Charleston, notice how your body comes heavy as you lengthen your breath. Inhale into your nose. And slowly exhale through your nose. You need to follow the rhythm of your breath. Option to close your eyes, as this allows you to turn your focus inward. Taking two more cycles of breath here in child's pose. And from here, we'll start the transition to our Ujjayi breath, which is the foundation of this practice. As we transition, there are three energy routes we want to engage. The first energy is located at the root of your spine. To engage this, you want to lift your pelvic bone. So if you're familiar with Kigo, imagine you're doing Kigo. The next energy rod is located in your abdomen or your core. And to engage this lock, you want to draw your knee into your spine. And finally, the third lock is located in the throat area. And to engage this, you want to apply a slight constriction in the back of your throat. And your breathing should sound oceanic and it should be audible to your neighbors. While you practice, be mindful of engaging in these three routes. Taking two cycles of breath. Inhale in and exhale out. Last one, inhale, and exhale, shifting forward, or coming to tabletop. From here, we look at cat and cow pose. Inhale, lift your belly up and down. Use your shoulder blades as you lift your head up from your chest. And exhale, pushing away from the top of your mask, grabbing your upper back, slightly tucking your chin. Following the rhythm of your breath, inhale, lift your belly up and down, gazing up, and exhale, rounding your back. Inhale, lift your belly up and down as you gaze up, and exhale to round your back. Then just one more time, inhale, lift your belly up and down, gazing up, and exhale to round your back. And your next inhale, coming back into tabletop, placing your right hand onto your right ankle. Inhale, checking your hips to the top of your mat, lifting your chest as you reach your left arm over your head, reaching for the back of your knee. And exhale, 
releasing it to child's feet. Inhale, shifting forward, kissing your left hand onto your left ankle as you sweep your right arm over your head and exhale, rushing back into child's feet. We'll do this a few more times with the rhythm of your breath. Inhale, shifting forward. And exhale, right hand to right ankle. Inhale, lift your left arm over your head. And exhale, child's pose. Inhale, into tabletop. Exhale, left hand to left ankle. Inhale, lifting your chest, reaching your right arm over your head. And exhale into child's pose. We'll do this one more time. Inhale into tabletop. And exhale, right hand to right ankle. Inhale, sweep your left arm over your head. And exhale into child's pose. Inhale into tabletop. And exhale, left hand to left ankle. Inhale, right arm over your head. And exhale, coming back into your child's pose. In your child's pose, take three cycles of rest. This is a great place to reconnect with your breath. Inhaling into your nose and exhaling up through your nose. From here, we'll start building our sun and warming up our spine. Inhale in and exhale out. On the next inhale, shifting forward with the tabletop, stacking your wrists, with your shoulders, knees into your hips. Curl your toes under, lift your knees and your hips up as you push away from the top of your mat into your third downward facing down. Drawing your chest towards your thighs, gazing past your knees. Feel free to bend your knees as much as you like as you push away to lengthen your back. Inhale through your nose and exhale out your nose. On your next inhale, bend your knees, step or hop to the top of your knees. Inhale, placing your hands on your shins and the flat back as you squeeze your shoulder blades together, tucking your chin in, gazing past your nose. And exhale, folding forward, gaze past your knees, just like that. Pressing into your feet, inhale, sweep your arms over your head as you stand tall, reaching your arms over your head, drop your shoulder blades down, and exhale, left arm forward, extending your right arm back, finding a twist to your right, gazing past your right thumb. Inhale, circle your right arm over your head, reaching the gaze up, and exhale to the opposite side, reaching your right arm forward, left arm back, gazing past your left arm. Inhale, circle your left arm over your head, finding the back bend here, and exhale, one breath all the way down to the knees. Inhale, hands on your shins with the flat back, gaze past your nose. And exhale, fold, fold, plant your hands to the back into high point as you make your way down to your push up. You always have the option to place your knees up to your mat. Uncurl your back toes, inhale into the back bend with the opposite facing down, curl your toes under, and exhale into downward facing dog. Whenever you come back into downward facing dog, always take three cycles of breath. Inhale into your nose and exhale up through your nose. Inhale in and exhale out. One more inhale. Bend your knees. Exhale, but step for hops to the top of your nose. Inhale, as in your shin step back, knees past your nose. And exhale, fold forward, chest to side, knees past your knees. Inhale, standing tall, sweep your arms over your head. And exhale, left arm forward, right arm back, finding that twist to your right. Inhale, circle your left arm over your head for a back bend. 
and exhale, the arm forward, left arm back. Just think to the left. Inhale, so the left arm over your head, putting the bigger back bend. And exhale, hold the right. Inhale, hands on your shins, left back. And exhale, plant your hands, stepping back into high point as you wipe your breath as you lower down into the cushion. Uncurl your back toes. Inhale, lift your chest. Your head up, on your back knee. And exhale, curl your toes under. Take your hips into down to the back. Again, take your knees across the breath. Inhale into your nose and exhale out through the nose. One more inhale and exhale, bend your knees, step to hop to the top of your knees. Inhale, hands on your chest, flat back, and exhale, forward forward to your knees. Inhale, sweep your arms over your head, spin the palm knees up, and exhale, twist them to your right. Inhale into your back bend and exhale to the opposite side. Inhale into your back bend again and exhale forward forward. Inhale, hands on your shins, flat back and exhale, reach your hands, step back, taking your float here as you lower down to the cushion. Then we learn to upward facing down and exhale into downward facing down. We'll move to the center one more time. As you are, take a deep inhale into your nose. And next, you'll bend your knees, step the hop to the top of your neck. Inhale, hands on your shins, fall back. And exhale, forward forward. Inhale, standing tall, sweeping up to your head, and exhale, twist to your right. Inhale, into your back bend, and exhale to the opposite side. Inhale, into your even bigger back bend, and exhale, forward, forward to your lips. Inhale, hands on your shins, flat back, and exhale, plant your hands, stepping back, with your foot to your floor, rolling down to your push up. Inhale into upward facing dog and exhale into down facing dog. Again, taking three seconds of breath. Inhaling into your nose and exhaling out through your nose. Inhale in. And exhale out. When you're ready, inhale, bend your knees, step for half to the top of your mat. Inhale, hands on your chest, flat back, and exhale, forward forward. Inhale, sweep your arms over your head, reaching your elbows up, and exhale, placing your hands at heart center. From here, we'll set up for tree pose, starting with your left leg. Place the weight of your body on your left leg. Kickstand to your right heel onto your left, or you have the option to place your right foot onto your calf or just above your knee. So you choose your variation of the tree pose, avoid any, any pressure on your knee itself. Draw your navel into your spine. And continue to tune into your Ujjayi breath. When you feel balanced, you have the option to extend your arms over your head. Taking two more cycles of breath from this posture.
and on your last exhale, slowly come back to where we started. Placing your hands at heart center, the rear same room, the opposite way. The feet are shape of your leg. And when you're ready, placing the weight of your weight of your body on your right leg this time. Extend your left heel onto your right, or the sole of your foot, onto your calf, or just above your knee. You choose your variation. You feel balance, option to keep your arms over your head. Taking two cycles of breath here. And on your last exhale, lift control. Come back to the center of your mat. Inhale, sweep your arms over your head, reaching how you up. And exhale, forward fold to the knees. Inhale, hands on your shins, bow back. And exhale, plant your hands, step back, picking your foot up here, going down to your push up. Uncurl your back toes, inhale into the upward facing down. Curl your toes under, exhale into down facing down. From here, we'll start to build our standing, warming up our hips. Inhale into your nose and exhale out through your mouth. Inhale and on your exhale, lift your right leg up. Walk your hands to the back of your mat. Inhale, half up to lengthen and exhale, folding in. Holding it to your left leg into standing state. Inhale, walking with your hands to the top of your mat. And exhale, stepping your right foot to the top of your mat, keeping your back heel lifted. Inhale into your crescent lunge. And exhale, pivoting back to your back heel, opening up your hips, arms to the strong feet. Into warrior two, gaze and pass to the right fingertips. Inhale, flipping your right palm, sweeping over your head for a back bend. And exhale, turn your hands, step back, taking your flow here as you lower down to your cushion. Inhale into upward facing dog. Exhale into downward facing dog. Inhale, lift your left leg up. And exhale, walk your hands to the back of your mat. Inhale, half up to lengthen. And exhale, fold to your right leg. Inhale, walk your hands to the top of your mat. And exhale, step your left foot to the top. Inhale into crescent lunge. And exhale into warrior two. Inhale, flipping your left palm on the back bend. And exhale, touch your hands. Step back, keep me flowing. Inhale into upward facing dog. And exhale into down facing dog. Taking three seconds of breath. Inhale into right your nose. And exhale out through your nose. Inhale in and exhale out. Inhale and exhale, lock your hands to the in, in or exhale, lift your right leg up, lock your hands to the back of your mat. Inhale to lengthen and exhale, fold into your left leg. Inhale, walk your hands to the top of your mat. And exhale, step your right foot. 
inhaling depressing lunge and exhale into the warrior two. Inhale, sweeping your right palm, sweeping over your head to reverse your warrior. And exhale, tap your hand, step back at the height as you take your flow. Inhale into upward facing dog. Exhale into downward facing dog. Inhale, let your left leg up. And exhale, walking your hands to the back of your mat. Inhale, half up. And exhale, fold into your right hand. Inhale, walking your hands to the top of your mat. And exhale, step your left foot. Inhale into crescent lunge. And exhale into your very two. Inhale to reverse your warrior. And exhale, touch your hands to the back, taking your feet as you lower down to push up. Inhale into upward facing dog. And exhale into downward facing dog. Inhale into your nose. And exhale out through your nose. Inhale in. And exhale out. Inhale, lift your right leg up. And exhale, walk your hands to the back of your neck. Inhale, half up to lengthen. And exhale, fold forward up to your left leg. Inhale, walk your hands to the top of your neck. And exhale, step in your right foot to the top. Inhale into crescent lunge. And exhale into one and two. Inhale to reverse your warrior. And exhale, put your hands, take your feet. Inhale into upward facing dog. And exhale into down facing dog. Inhale, lift your left leg up. And exhale, walk your hands to the back of your neck. Inhale, have up to lengthen. And exhale, fully forward. Inhale, walk your hands to the top of your neck. And exhale to step your left foot. Inhale into crescent lunge. And exhale into warrior two. Inhale to reverse your warrior. And exhale, plant your hands, taking the floor here. Inhale into upward facing dog. And exhale into down facing dog. We're doing this one more time. Inhale into your nose and exhale out. Inhale, lift your right leg up and exhale, walk your hands to the back of your neck. Inhale, half up to lengthen. And exhale, walking forward up to your left leg. Inhale, walking your hands to the top of your mat. And exhale, step your right foot. Inhale into crescent lunge. And exhale into warrior two. Inhale to reverse your warrior. And exhale, touch your hands to the foot. Inhale into the upper facing dog. And exhale into downward facing dog. Inhale, lift your left leg up. And exhale, walking your hands to the back of your knees. Inhale, half up to lengthen. And exhale, open forward into your right leg. Inhale, walking your hands to the top of your mat. And exhale, step your left leg. Inhale into crescent lunge. And exhale into warrior two. Inhale to reverse your warrior. And exhale, plant your hands, stick your foot. Going down to your push up. Inhale into upward facing dog. And exhale to down facing dog. You can meet in downward facing dog or child pose. If you have time to be connected.
If you're in child's pose, you can move back on the tabletop. If you don't, you can dog. Inhale into your nose. And exhale, bend your knees, lift your weight to the top of your mat. Inhale, half up, hands on your chest, back back. And exhale, go forward. Inhale, shake your arms over your head, reach your top knees up. And exhale, placing your hands at heart center. From here, you can set up for an eagle pose. Starting with your right leg, your left leg, placing your arms to the seat, wrapping your right elbow underneath your left. Bending your knees, placing your right knee over your left knee. Sinking your hips deeper, and notice if your back is curving. Want to lift your elbows, Continue to draw your navel into your spine, lifting your chest. And finding your focus here. As you bring yourself back into the enjoy breath. Taking two cycles of breath. And on your last exhale, slowly traveling. Bring it back to the top of your mat. And we'll start up for the other side. Placing arms to the feet, palms facing down. This time, wrapping your left elbow underneath your right. Bending your knees, bringing your left knee over your left or your right knee. Again, continue to lift your elbows up. Taking two complete cycles of breath. And then the last exhale, slowly grabbing, leaning back at the top of your mat. Inhale, sweep your arms over your head, reaching out of yourself. And exhale, fully forward. With your peace fingers, grabbing onto your big toes. Your feet are hip width apart. Inhale, half up to lengthen. And exhale, as you draw your head down onto your mat. Drawing your chest towards your thighs. Holding here in your forward fold. Bending your elbows as you continue to pull your head down towards the mat. Easing past your knees. Releasing any tension around your neck, your shoulders. Feel free to shift your head from the focus line. As you continue to do it to your breath. Feeling that stretch in your hamstring from your lower back. You can take complete cycles of breath. On your last exhale, releasing your fingers, sliding your palms underneath your feet. 
in your toes to touch your wrist and the little hold. Inhale, half up to lengthen and exhale with your mouth forward. Feeling a stretch in your wrist. Taking three cycles of breath. On your last exhale, letting your palms and your knees to feet. Inhale, half up, having your chest drop out. And exhale, full forward. Inhale, so you can arms over your head, which you thought is up. And exhale, placing your hands up for the center. Taking a quarter, turn to your right. Pivoting your toes to the back of your mat, placing your arms to the tee. Inching with your left hip, placing your right hand onto your right ankle as you sweep your left arm over your head, creating a straight line with your left arm and your right arm. Continue to open through your chest, lifting your shoulders away, finding the external rotation. Breathing into the left side of your ribcage, you want to continue to draw your navel to your spine to engage your core. And to prevent your front, your right leg from hyperextension, feel free to apply a soft bend. And you want to engage your thigh muscles, the quads and your hamstrings. Taking two cycles of breath. Inhale and exhale. One more inhale and exhale. When we come back to the front, you'll turn your heels slightly wider than your hips. Your toes are pointing in and your heels are pointing up. Inhale, sit down to your head and exhale, forward fold into the wide leg, forward fold. Inhale, half up. And exhale, walking your hands to your back, meeting it here, here. Again, releasing your head, your neck, your shoulders. Feel free to shift your head from side to side. And I'm taking a few breaths here. When you're ready, walking your hands forward. Inhale, half up. And exhale, placing your hands on your hips as you slowly make your way back to the top. Pointing your heels in. And this time, pointing your toes to the top of your mat. Arms to a strong T. Shifting forward, placing your left hand to the left ankle. And inhale, sweeping your right arm over your head. Again, creating a straight line with your left arm and your right. This time, breathing into the right side of your rib cage. I'm taking a few breaths here to learn.
taking one more cycle to cycle the breath inhale and exhale so we're going back to the top arms to the strong team lifting your toes to the back of your mat taking a half step forward with your left leg turning up the pyramid here you have the option to place your hands in reverse prayer or feel free to just grab one to one and out each other. Inhale, lift your chest is up. And exhale, lift your mouth forward onto your right leg. Notice laying the placement of your hips here. Want to draw your left hip forward as you hug your right hip back. And you should feel a stretch in your right hamstring. Taking two cycles of breath. And then your last exhale, slowly making your back to the top of your mat. Feel for your heels can be wider. This time, your heels are pointing in and your toes are slowly pointing out. So you got the a goddess squat, bending your knees on your deep squats. Option here to place your arms into a T. And then you can continue to engage your core. Taking two cycles of breath. And your last exhale, lengthening out on your both legs. Inhale, sweep your arms over your head, and exhale, placing your hands behind the center. So lifting your toes to the front of your mat, taking a half step. Over with your training work. And we'll set up a pyramid pose on the opposite side. Again, option to place your hands in reverse there or grabbing onto your opposite wrist. When you're ready, inhale, lift your chest, move up. And exhale, moving forward onto your left leg. Taking three seconds of breath. And on your last exhale, slowly making your way back up. Releasing your hands, stepping to the top of your mat, arms in prayer. Inhale, sweep your arms over your head, and exhale, forward forward. Inhale, half up, hands on your shins, flat back, and exhale, put your hands and step back with your high plank, making your way down to your push up. Inhale into upward facing dog, and exhale into down facing dog. From here, lower your knees down to your mat, 
shifting your legs to the top of your mat, making your way down to sit. Setting up for both feet, bending your knees as you place both feet onto your mat. Draw your knees onto your spine, sitting tall, lift your chest, extending your arms. This may be enough. If you wish to go for, further, you have the option to lift both legs, coming into full boot. Wherever you are, you're connecting with your breath. Taking two seconds of breath. On your last exhale, make your way down to lie down to your mat. Breathe your knees in. Walking from side to side. Now we'll make your way back and set up your board again. Bend your arms, try to lift your chest up, squeeze your shoulder blades. When you're ready, adding your legs. As you are, take a deep inhale into your nose. And exhale to low down to a low bit. Inhale into high, exhale to low. Inhale high, exhale low. Inhale high, and exhale low. Making your way down to the down to your back. Draw your knees into your chest, keeping your knees as smooth. Gently walking from side to side. And we'll start the transition into again posture. Lower your knees down onto your right into field position, or we'll meet some balance facing down. Setting up for pigeon pose. Inhale, lift your right leg up, and exhale, draw your right knee to your right wrist, your ankle to your left. Lighting your left leg as far as you can. And as much as possible, aligning your shin bone to the left of the top of your mat. When you're ready, inhale, lift your chest knees up. And exhale, melting forward, lowering your elbows down, resting your forehead onto your mat, the block, or your forearms. Feeling a deep stretch on the right side of your hip. Avoiding structural pain on the right knee. Again, noticing the placement of your hips. You want to continue to draw your left hip down. As you draw your right hip back. Allowing your breath to lengthen in this posture. And 
ומעולם יש לו בשר כאילו. ‫אז בואו לי כמותי צקר פוגר, ‫מי כן נכנס לברד ולמד. And then your last exhale, pull your pressing yourself up. You come back into balance with the mouth. You need to shift your hips from side to side. Bend your knee. And when you're ready, we'll set up for the other side. Inhale, lift your left leg up. And exhale, draw your left knee towards your left wrist and your ankle to the right. Sliding your right leg back as far as you can. When you're ready, inhale, lift your chest goes up. And exhale, nothing forward. Feel free to close your eyes, but this allows you to turn the focus inward. Taking three counting circles of breath. And then you have exhales, so you're pressing yourself up. This time, rolling out to your left hip. You can sweep your legs to the top of your neck. And you make our way down to the top of your Keeping your knees bent, placing your feet separate apart. Begin to windshield wipe right your knees from side to side. And when your knees reach the right side, stay here and hold. For a deeper stretch, you have the option to place your right ankle on top of your left knee. Finding the internal hip rotation. Gently closing your eyes. Taking two seconds of breath. And 
And then your last exhale, releasing your right ankle into your mat. And then beautifully on the opposite side, pulling your knee down to your left. Your feet will stay here as you are. If you wish for a deeper stretch, option to play to your left ankle on top of your right knee. Taking two seconds of breath. And then your last exhale, releasing your left ankle onto your mat. Draw your knees into your chest, giving your knees a squeeze. We'll make our way into our final resting position, extending your right leg to the bottom right corner of your mat, and extending your left leg to the bottom left corner of your mat. Placing your arms beside you, palms facing up, and taking as much space here, just allow your shoulders to rest into your mat, releasing any tension in any point. Gently closing your eyes. And just taking a few moments here. Just open your practice. When you're ready, begin to wiggle your fingers, wiggle your toes. Gently rolling your head from side to side. Inhale, sweep your arms over your head. As you bring your feet to touch, pointing your toes and your fingers away to stretch the lengthen. And exhale, join your knees into your chest, giving your knees to sleep. In your own time, in your own way, when we in a seated position, Crossing the legs. Sitting tall, placing your hands at heart center, gently closing your eyes. Thank you for sharing your practice here today. The lights in me, bows and honors, the lights in you, my heart to yours. Namaste.